Hello everyone. In today's video, we shall be discussing default assignment of cost centers, profit centers, internal orders, your uh, accounts for profitability segments and business areas, etc. So we just have one single T code or transaction code for doing this, but we shall be discussing today this in detail. So moving ahead, now we used to do this setting through cost element master data in ECC, but now as we create these cost elements at the time of uh, uh, creating GL master data only, we have a separate transaction code for it. So the default assignment for cost center maintained at T code OKB9. OK you can make following entries mandatory by inputting account assignment details like valuation areas, business area and profit centers. We have a proper menu path for the same. So uh, let's go to our easy access screen and um, see how it is done. Now I will directly go to our SAP easy access screen. So uh, we can go directly to transaction by entering transaction code OKB9, but uh, I'll be showing you by going it to the screen through a long path. So SPRO, enter our IMG reference screen. Now here we have controlling. Under this we have cost center accounting. Then we have actual postings. Manual actual postings. Manage default account assignments. We can see the transaction code. Display key IMG activity. So OKB9 is our transaction code for same. So let's start. Here we will do a new entry for our company code. So we have a company code 1812 that is BRL India. Now here we will assign each cost element to the required cost center. We also have an option for internal orders. Internal orders we have discussed previously in our previous videos. Uh, the internal order is uh, made uh, for, for accumulating specific kind of transaction. For example, we are doing some advertisement campaign and we need to accumulate costs relating to that campaign. Um, so internal order are created for a specific purpose or specific nature transactions then we also have a profitability segment now if we will click or check on this box then the cost element will be automatically assigned to the profitability segment and at the time of uh, doing any journal entry uh, we need to assign the profitability segment while uh, be doing a journal entry to through this cost element. Then we have a profit center and last, we'll discuss this account assignment just few minutes later. So the first we will assign our cost element. So these cost elements are nothing but our GL accounts. One eight one two is my chart of account. So I have just one cost element and we'll be assigning a cost center here. When we will when we are making a default assignment by using this transaction, then then automatically at the time of doing entry, this cost center will be automatically fetched as now we have assigned it at a default level to this cost element. 
Now we also know that all the cost centers have their profit centers attached to it. Uh, like at the time of creation of cost centers, profit cent we need to assign the profit centers. Now in this segment, we can change the profit center also. So this uh, at this level, when we assign profit center, it will override what we have previously done. Okay. And we already discussed internal order. I'm not assigning any new profit center right now. And lastly, we have account assignment. Now this account assignment is at three level. We can also assign a specific business area, valuation area, profit center to our cost element. Now this will restrict this cost center to assign this specific business area for example if i choose business area is mandatory then i what then what i need to do is to select it wait first i need to save it so I, as i have saved it i need to select and enter detail per business area valuation. So now I need to assign the business area and now this business area will be restricted to this specific cost element and cost center. Similarly, if I choose profit center, so if I choose three, profit center is mandatory then I need to provide the details per profit center in this segment. Okay, right now I'm not assigning anything. Now all these things depends on business scenarios and as per your client's requirement. So uh, let's save it. So my data is already saved and we'll go back and see how we can do our entry. So let's go to transaction F-43. Now I will assign my vendor. Also, uh, as I have done my um, configurations for purchase and sale tax, I need to assign my tax procedure or else my entry would not be completed and I won't be show you the impact. Okay, so I will just do the enter, enter my amount, taxes. Now my debit entry would be my expense or cost element. We can just go back and see our cost element. So my cost element was 801. We'll consider the same. 801 and enter so now as you can see the cost center cc01 underscore 02 has automatically fetched because we have assigned the cost center at default level okay now we just need to give the amount and the tax code And I think that's it. I will just simulate and see. But the whole purpose was to show you that this cost center, there is one more details that is required. So the whole purpose of this entry is to show you that uh, this cost center will be automatically picked in case we select this profitability segment. Then what we need to do, we need to enter the profit segment here we need to assign the account assignment here 
ओके नाउ रेंट एक्सपेंस लेट मी सिमुलेट इट अगेन ओके सो माय एंट्री इज कमिंग out to be this and i can save it and everything will be done so uh, that's all for today thank you all for listening have a really good day